Audi TT Mark 1 budget error code readers review. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where tonight I am talking about these which are budget OBD code readers for your Audi TT Mark 1. I'm going to cover three different types, one of which is Bluetooth, the other two are hardwired with a screen and the reason I'm doing that is not everyone has got a phone at home that they can pair one of these Bluetooth dongles or you may have a device that's just not capable of connecting to a Bluetooth reader. So I'm covering budgets between around 10 to 15 pounds up to about 60 or 70 tonight. There are other tools in the market such as VCDS, but obviously they are much more expensive than the tools we're looking at today. So these are your DIY error code readers that you should have at home. I've got three here today that I can demonstrate and talk about from my own personal experiences. Now the first one I'm going to talk about is the Artilink 400 from Top Don. This will cost you around £30 from Amazon. However, it should be pointed out that if you are buying this for the Audi TT Mark 1, it won't work. I'm going to show you that in a moment, but this will not work. It will work for more modern cars. I tried this on a 2011 Fiesta, worked perfectly fine, but it is not recognised by the Audi TT Mark 1. So if you're looking for a code reader for your Audi TT Mark 1, do not choose this. So here we have the Artilink 400. If we look on the back, it says it access to all OBD2 modes, clearing codes, reading codes, live data. Now I know for the Audi TT Mark 1, this isn't possible as I've tried. It says it's compatible with most 1996 onwards vehicles here but I know from experience, it doesn't work with the Audi TT Mark 1. So if we remove the back of the packet, let's see what we've got. So the OBD2 port plugs into the car and this small screen here is what you would see all of the details in the car. So let's get it plugged in and see what it can see. The OBD port is just under here. So I'm gonna plug that in. All OBD2 code readers use the same port under the dash just here and it is angled slightly downwards. So remember that when you're trying to get the dongle plugged in. With the Artilink 400 plugged in to the OBD2 port on the car, the ignition is on. The screen does come to life. The screen is not particularly bright on this device anyway, but if I now run an OBD2 check to see if it can connect, you see all of the protocols it uses are getting red crosses. So it's unable to connect. Now when I try this on the Fiesta, works perfectly. So we'll let it run its diagnostics. And you can see it's errored. It can't make a connection. When I raise this with Top Don, they asked me to try it on another car and it did indeed work with other cars. So the Artilink 400 should be avoided for the Audi TT Mark 1 as it cannot read the OBD2 port. The reason I know it's not making any connection is there's a small LED just here that will be green if there's no error codes yellow if it's got a pending code and red if there's codes found there's no light at all when it's plugged into my car so i've moved inside for obd reader number two and that is the bluetooth obd dongle now i bought this from amazon for about 12 pounds and i have done another video on this particular reader so if you want to watch the OBD Reader for Beginners video, you can click on the link above, or you can stay with this video to find out more. As this is Bluetooth, there's no cable, you will see. So this simply plugs into the OBD2 Reader port in your car. But to access the readings that you need to find the error codes, you will need a smartphone. Most of us do have a smartphone, but I know not everyone does. So for this, you will need the reader, and a smartphone and the way it works is you pair it with your phone you plug it into the car you download a small app for your phone and using the app on your phone you can look up the various readings now the app I use for my phone is called car scanner I'm just going to give you a quick look at it there it is free but there is also a paid version and with the free version you can access all of the error codes that come up with the OBD2 check and you can also reset them. The good thing about car scanner is you can actually click on the codes individually and it will take you to a website and tell you exactly what that code means and how to fix it. Now I do have two errors occurring on the 3.2 at the moment that I know have come up 
using this reader and we're going to have a look at those now. So let's plug in the Bluetooth reader to the car. And for now it will show as disconnected still. As you can see it still says disconnected. So I need to put some power to the car to actually get a reading. So I've turned the ignition on. I now click connect on the phone. And you will see it's connected. And we're all green. It also tells you the OBD2 type of connection. Now the important thing we need to look at is the diagnostic trouble codes. So if we click on that, we now click on read and it will scan the car. Ah, and there we go. There's two codes that have come up as you can see on screen and they are P0130 and P1177. You'll also notice there is a recycle bin in the corner and if we click on that it will clear all the codes. Once you do so, the engine management light on the dashboard will go out. It will no longer be illuminated. So for this, I'm not going to press that just yet because we want to make sure we've got the same codes when we test the next reader. Now I have tested this with other readers and when I do so, it comes up with a lot more error codes. So this seems to be a real cut down version but it does flag up the most important ones. Now interestingly, when I first downloaded the car scanner app, it had more functionality. Now I've been using it for a few months, it's cut down to the very basic version. I don't have the full functionality. So I could pay for that and it's only about five pounds a year. And for that, the all sensors section that you can see here, it will actually allow me with this reader to read my chains. So when we're talking about the timing chains on the 3.2, I have done another video on that, so if you want to watch that video, click on the link above. So that allowed me to see how much chain stretch I had. On this free version of software, with this reader, I can't now do that. The dongle itself, used with the right app, will read what you need. So to recap, this Bluetooth dongle for about £12 will get most of the error codes up you need on the screen. And it will also allow you to click on them find out what they are and also delete the codes. So for £12 I think this is an essential part of your toolbox. This exact reader I am going to find on Amazon once again and I will leave a link to it in the video description. Now the last of the code scanners I'm going to talk about is the Arti Diag 500S from Topdon. So if we open up let's see what we get. So there's the device itself. It's handheld with a built-in screen. It's got about, I'd say about a meter of cable to reach from the car to the OBD2 port. There's also a handy manual with some instructions on getting started. And there's also a quick start guide. So let's get this connected to the car and see what it does. Now this is wired, but it is portable and it's fully rechargeable. It also allows you to put it on the Wi-Fi so you can look up code as you can with the Bluetooth sensor. So this should be a good test for this system to see if it brings up the same error codes as the Bluetooth one. It's got a full colour screen and it's touch screen but it's also got buttons as well. And you turn it on by this button on the top. So if we turn it on, it comes to life and there we have it. Nice bright screen. And we can see... We've got Diagnosis, and we've also got the OBD2 section. So if we click on that, it's asking me to connect the device. So let's get that done now. And the good thing about this is it actually charges off your car battery. So you don't even need to plug it into the mains. But it does also have a port on the side for charging on the mains. A nice little handy feature you also have with this is... It tells you your voltage output from your car battery. So you can see in the top there, it's telling me I'm getting around, well, 10 and a half volts at the moment, which isn't great. But it's probably worth pointing out some of the other features that you can see on this screen, such as maintenance. So if you want to do some other checks on the car or some more features such as the ABS, bleeding of brakes, oil health, 
you can do all of this from this screen. So I would say this is a much better workshop tool than just a simple plug-in Bluetooth reader. So if we click on the OBD2 section, it's now connecting to the car. And this will go through all the various Bluetooth modes. So you'll find it will say failed, 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 until it finds the mode for your car and then say connected. There we have it. It's now connected to the car. It's telling me on screen that the management light is on. Well, we know that. We can see that on screen. And there are two error codes listed in the ECU. Now, this is quite an annoying feature on this. If you actually go back and then come back into the codes, it has to scan through all of the OBD2 codes once more. So once we have this connected to the OBD2 protocol, we can simply go back and we can click on Diagnosis. If we put in here the car, so we've got an Audi, it's now going to scan the system for us. So we can now read the DTC. So there we have it. Now, interestingly, there seems to be a further code on here than there is on the Bluetooth one. And that's a code 1636, message from the airbag control module. Now that's because my car is detecting that because it's run out of battery recently. So if your car has run out of battery, that is a common code that appears. So if I clear these codes, that will also go as well. But the good news is we've also got the two codes that I know are affecting it from the Bluetooth scanner. So it's good to see there's some commonality between the codes this is reading and the Bluetooth one. I can click on the individual item and it will give me a breakdown of the problem and how to fix it. But the good thing about this is as well, I can also click on this read data stream. Now I can read by channel or I can read by list. Now the channel is the important one because if I was going to read my chain settings on this car, I would know I need to check codes 208 and 209. So if we click on read by channel, so the channel we know to check the chains is 208. So if I type 208 in there and I hit OK, it will tell me the important number, which is this minus three degrees. So I know that the one side of my chain is at minus three. So this little gadget for 70 pounds will read your chains. So this doesn't just do chains, it will do all of the other data stream items you need from the various channels. So if you've got a particular channel that you need to check, you can use it with this gadget. It's in a nice robust case, so it will work well in the garage. The screen's pretty good. You've probably noticed rather than navigating around with the buttons, which I can also do, I have been clicking on the screen, so it's fully touch screen compatible. So that's three typical error code readers for your car, and I hope you found that useful. So I think we can totally discount the 400 series device from Top Don, because that didn't even connect to the Audi. So then we've got the 12 pound Bluetooth dongle, or the 70 pound plug-in device from Top Don. Which would I recommend? Well, for 12 pounds, I think anyone can afford to have one of these in the toolbox. It will read all of your various codes, and it will allow you to clear those codes if you need to. That is provided you've got a smartphone to work with it. This particular device is more expensive, but we have proof it does work with the car. It also has a nice little screen, so you don't need a smartphone. And for £70, it's affordable, and it will do so much more than just your Bluetooth reader. It allows you to do such things as save your favourite car for quick reference in future, email reports and data to yourself so you can review later. This includes repair info, screen recordings or photos of the on-screen data. You can also reset a variety of service indicators such as oil lights, diagnose ABS problems and bleed brake lines and much, much more. So I would say... £12, definitely have one of these. You can have one in the glove box and forget about it. And if you're out somewhere and you've got a problem, you can look it up. This, I think, is a great tool for the workshop. It will allow you to do an awful lot more with the live readings. And it's just a little bit more robust and you don't need a phone. So which would I go for? Well, if I'm going to be at home, I think I'm going to go for this top don because this is the one for me. And I'll keep this in the car for when I'm out and about at the roadside. You can never have too many OBD readers.
Hopefully you found this video useful when you're looking for your own OBD2 reader. If you have enjoyed this video then please do give it a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel where you will find a whole host of content on the Audi TT Mark 1. As always, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.